All right, that should be good. Stuff's been put up on the VOD channel. The footage has been processed. I still have to cut it down for the two missions and a few highlights, but I'll do that after the stream. What do I want to get done tonight? I'm thinking Dressler and Paw Patrol at the least. But I do need to make sure I keep some time for Mandalorian contracting. It's just I don't like streaming that because two-thirds of the development is done on uh, text documents and uh, processing forms on a spreadsheet. So that's tough. But if I can get that done and most of this week's ops front logged, then I can focus Tuesday and Wednesday's development on finishing up the 40k kits. And I do need to also spend a day on the Namalsk campaign. But that can be done Thursday morning, but still that is cutting a little bit close, but... Ah, just the timing of everything. And I forgot to go refill my water, so... Ay, 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 ay. That's alright, Reaper. How are you doing, man? I'm gonna try to build all my mission framework today. Let's see. Dressler stuff. I have to build the final faction. And I have to build... do I have to build? <laughs> Why am I blanking on it? Fuck. No, I was just thinking about everything I have to do. Ah. Uh... Yeah, yeah, okay, okay. So I have to take that area, re-debug it off the side. No, that's open. Go to save. No, fucking save as you fucking bellin. Decent computer setup, so now I just need to get Arma 3 and hopefully play some of your ops. Right on, man. If AU means Australia, it might be a little tough time-wise for you to get into some of mine, but I have a lot of weird time slots, so we'll see what happens. Okay, everything considered, what do I want to scrap? And what do I want to keep going? Keep that LZ. Let's get rid of all that. Let's get rid of that team. I can get rid of that Hainer because they're not going to come back here anymore. I can actually get rid of all of that. show some progress on that peninsula. I can also show that as, uh, actually no, I will, I'll keep that as op 4. Uh, but I will switch that to white to say a different group took that out. Okay. Okay. 
This would have been op two. I need to open something from op two. Yeah, hey, right on, Muns. Hope you keep enjoying everything, man. And have good luck getting through college. I mean, I recently finished. <laughs> it's, it's a pain in the ass. Uh, sort by name, and I can just scroll up or down. 506 Secret 2 is what I want. Watch it not open, though, because I know they updated their mods. Perfect. Wouldn't use LZ Muppet again. Yeah, right, O Reaper. Better, thanks for the nice little, those cute little bear emotes. Submarine's not going to show up for this one, but again, the last faction is, and I do have to build them. And get rid of that LZ. I can get you in the AO. And throw him down over here for now. You, I need to change your thingamajig. Okay, hold up. What's the actual fucking modded name? Actually, it would be under Apex DLC. Which is down here. There we go. And let's build our final faction. I can actually just transpose his face on him. Uh, special state, no identity, one. So attributes, identity. Forgot what ABCs are. Let's get rid of his shades. And I wanna change his beret. No, come on. Where's the fucking... There it is. Perfect. Alright, let's build the final faction. I, I kind of just revealed what it was based off of which characters I just took and adjusted. But, you know, wink. Realistically, I can just take him and uh, upgrade him. Uh... Except I'm going to want to change out a few things. I'm trying to think. How do I want to do this? What vest are you wearing again? The fucking... Six B forty three. Okay, so really I just need to put that down. Yeah, you wanna see literal tanks? Just put one of these puppies on a guy that already has built in uniform armor. And we're just changing the headgear. 
So we have that, and then Chinese forces I can just spawn in by default. Uh, so the mech op isn't going to be until two Mondays from now. What you saw earlier was just some preliminary ballistics testing and me kind of getting the idea of what I wanted to do with it. But that was, that was it. There's going to be no PowerPoint for this one. Uh, it's just going to be a single photo. Because I want to try to prompt this to be quote unquote urgent. Hopefully there won't be any kill valley for freaking five KIAs to happen, because that was absolutely insane. Troop, I'm telling you, man, go find a unit on Reddit, find a unit. You will find groups of people to play with, and then after a few months, they'll let you Zeus. Trust me. You just got to find somewhere to kind of hunker down, invest some time in it, learn how they play, and then adjust your units as so. But, um, gamer girl, I, um, how do I put it? I'm, I'm always constantly juggling various Arma operations and concepts, uh, with my spare time. Um, like, for example, Project 17 right now, um, I already have, like, people signing up for it. It's going to be, like, an 80-person op. Uh, so that process is going through pretty well right now. But uh, just the amount of testing that's already been put on it and that's going to go through. And this is for something that's not going to hit till March 6th, which is literally, let's see, this month is 28 days. So 20, 26 days from now. And I already have it, like, half done. Uh, the bet, like, the more stuff I can build in advance, the more time I have to focus on other things, which I can then build in advance. <laughs> the cycle never ends. But that's, that's how I'm able to do, like, two or three uploads a day, is because I just keep doing that. Unless I get burnt the fuck out, which case, you know, oof, but... Let's see. Oh, I forgot to fucking add a certain mod. Ah, it's okay. I'll just reload this after I'm done pre-building it. Ah, oh, but I gotta fucking... Damn it. There's a mod I need to make things a little easier on pre-building. Uh, I'll throw up the BRB screen. Because I want to reload. The mod set. I saved. I need to add ZEI. So I can get a barracks interior because without seeing how that interior works out i can't do a pre-garrison endless cycle of pain oh, i enjoy doing it am i going to make a rabbit easter egg yeah we'll put fluffer somewhere we put him somewhere in the last one he was in his retirement home this one i have no idea where i'm going to put him but i'll figure something out Oh, troop, trust me, there are units out there that need pilots. Don't you worry. Lerumasochest.jpg. I'm not going to say anything. <laughs> I'm not going to comment on that one. Ah, uh, yeah, she's DMing me. Right. 
It's 847. How long is Dresler going to take? If I were to give it an estimate... Well, I'm going to say an hour. That's that's putting it lightly, but I think I could get Dresler done in an hour. Uh, then I want to do Paw Patrol. How long would Paw Patrol take? An hour to two hours, depending on the op concept I want to do. Um... I think we're gonna do a drug bust mission and I'll pimp out a vehicle. Just to, again, concepts I haven't done in a very long time that I think we're gonna have some fun with. Amazing troop. Why do you call them Paw Patrol? Uh, Cause before they were called Paw Patrol and they became a PMC, they were a spec ops group for the US military called E621. And if you know what that means, you know what that means. Uh, but they changed themselves to Provisional Agency Warfare, so I call them Paw Patrol. Uh, they're not, like, they call themselves Paw, but I call it Paw Patrol because the leader of that group is a furry, and a lot of them are furries, so it's just a giant inside joke, which is why they were also called E621. So I call them Paw Patrol because... Fuck it. Now this one I am going to do the sandbag fortifications, but they float, so I can either lower them, or I can delete, I'll just lower them. This time, this base, they've had enough time to go out and fortify here. And then I will do though, is I will be turning a few things by 90 degrees and making some minor adjustments. Now, the reason I have the uh, resources here to focus on this small detail is because it's only going to be for like a 12-person player base maximum. So if you have low numbers, you can always afford to do more small detail stuff. What you do need to make sure, though, is uh, if you're using any pre-built shit that you need to uh, make sure you get rid of all memorabilia... But I do want some foreshadowing here. So I will put a photo of CSAT down. And we'll see if they take the hint. Because they might just think it's something that uh, I left there from a ZEI template. But what people. What some people don't realize, though, is in the years I've been doing this, I've gotten more and more meticulous with my mission design. To the point that some stuff that Zeus's might leave behind, because they're forgetful and they don't triple check their work, I leave on purpose. Now, uh, something that's going to be different on that photo. Actually, fuck it. I'll remake the photo. Yeah. Hell yeah. What What's in that photo? Um... Two BTR camishes and three dudes. On an upward hill on the right side and slightly flat terrain looking over and it's at a low angle. Okay, easy fucking job. And I can build it into the AO over here. Um, oh, come on, you're not gonna let me do the vanilla designation? Of course they're not. <sighs> That's fine. He's at Pacific. Vehicles. Do they not have green camo? Or am I blind? I'm blind. Trying to think of the plot implications here if they actually put two and two together. Uh, no, we're gonna scrap that. Um...
handle that so chat doesn't get in the way. Is this Vanilla Arma? Uh, no. But the mysterious final faction is the Chinese, and that's CSAT Pacific. The only missions I do that are mostly, like, they try to follow vanilla lore and shit is Saturday, uh, Sundays. Where's my mission folder? There it is. Okay. So here's how this off is going to go. Uh, they're going to land at LZ Muppet. Uh, they got a uh, code responder uh, from this position. Uh, and it's uh, his company code responder. Uh, so they're going to clear this out. Uh, find a note next to a blood pile to say that he's going to some town with the word... Uh, Dessa in it. Uh, I'm just gonna say Dessa like five times. I don't fucking know. I'll be really cryptic about it. They'll get there. They're gonna find him dead. Uh, live video feed to other VIP, which they thought they found dead. They couldn't PID him, though. Uh, I'll taunt them through a radio, uh, short range, to uh, mess around with them. Say, haha, I'm not really dead. Uh, and then two VTOLs will appear, Viper, QRF dropped off, and they will have to quote-unquote escape uh, because they're going to be picked up and then retasked with a mission over here, which will be mission 7. Uh, and then when that's done, mission 8 will be done, and yeah. yadi da. Final, final haha -ha moment of the fucking campaign. What's the music being played? Uh, random Mass Effect songs from the entire trilogy. Also, hi, Barb. That was a little bit. Where's, uh, where's the medical area? Me a blood medium old. Uh, motherfucker. Now the question is going to become, do I want to build the AO in Zeus or do I want to build it in Eden? Because I know for a fact they're going to take like two hours to get fucking ready. So I'm going to be on there anyway, just waiting. So there's no point in me building it now if I'm going to have an hour and a half to kill anyway to build the AO, but... What if I crash? You're not going to crash on the 506. You're already cursing yourself, but... We'll build some components. I need to at least build the laptop script. And then test how the hell I'm gonna do that with what trigger. I think I have an idea, but... I'll build a few components, but some of the stuff that I know I can pre-build uh, build while they're playing Barbie for an hour, I can just build. And hopefully there won't be any more kill valleys. Even though that was kind of entertaining. Admittedly. 
All right, uh, a 50 cal is totally going to shoot at any vehicles over yonder, so... Let's just get rid of him for now, and I'll place it later. Is there anywhere else where I should put a 50, quote-unquote? Not that I can see. I'll put one in... Eh, I mean, that's... No, 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 no. Those are kind of, those are meant to be a little more on the rear side. Hey, Kit. Hey, Ion. How you two doing? I'm going to fresh kill him. So I'll put him in there. Give me some blood. What I mean by that is uh, I'm going to shoot him. I'm going to kill him on the server because if I kill him in Eden, it's just he's going to do this prone animation with his hands over his head or in front of his head. And it's it looks like he's just unconscious because everyone knows that as the ace unconscious animation. So if I just, you know, execute him with a fucking handgun in the mission, then that's A-OK. -okay. Uh, let me plan... where the... VTOLs are gonna come in. And let me get Civ markers on those. I use grass cutters because... My brain will know, oh, it's an open area. That's where the VTOL is going to land. And that's where the fucking army of fucking <laughs> uh, vipers are going to show up. And they need to haul ass back to the LZ before they're overwhelmed. Mm, it's going to be a toughie. Especially since they're going to probably not bring... Uh... Fuck. Uh, 2995... No, 295 AP is the best way to defeat vipers. Is it 295? It's, it's the armored defeat ammunition from uh, the 5.56 five, rounds from Ace itself. Well, the issue with making blood from bodies when you shoot them is the server is going to despawn them after X amount of time. I believe for the 5.06, the server is set by... Um, to five minutes when it uh, before it deletes bloodstains. Now, which mission had? It was three. Three had the camera work. How does find a unit work? Uh, you go onto Reddit, find a unit, and you look through because that's where everyone puts their advertisements. And uh, you look through the threads, and uh, you find something that you like, and then you can go and contact them. Okay, what image are you? You're 8.jpg. Well, actually, no, it would have been reordered. Ah, blah, blah, blah. fuck. That's fine. What needs to be copied here? The UAV needs to be copied as well, and then I can transpose everything. So... Why'd you copy it, you silly goober? Just just copy it in place. Just piecemeal your own fucking stuff and you'll be fine, you silly, silly goober. Is that everything I need to copy? Yes, based off of that script in the framework. Uh, we didn't need to do that, but that's fine. No, gamer, we're not going to have the fucking twin script follow them around. I should create a command for what? As find a unit? Huh, I'll think about it. Okay. 
fuck. I need to go back and get a trigger. Ah, it's okay. I'll grab that later. Uh, let's see. I'll also have to put an invisible radio down, but that is easy to do. Terrain modules are on, but that's fine. And then I'll put a satchel behind it. Right, okay, so I need that to be named UAV on a terminal. Tehrans. Oh, come on. Fit on the fucking table. Yes. All right. Uh, so UAV. Wait, did I cap it? No, no. It needs to be lowercase. Scripts are case sensitive. I'll need to go back to that mission file, grab the trigger area. Um, if I take a copy of you, it does keep your stuff cool. I need to... unarm you, I'll put him in a scripted animation. I need to go back to mission three and copy that trigger area. Uh, Barb, uh, take, where, where are you making the uh, mission? Who are you making it for? Uh, if it's TSB, use our Star Wars mod. If it's some other community, use Swap. Uh, Commando stuff is really OP, though, so be careful. How many assets is too many assets to load into uh, the mission file? <sighs> I can't give you a number... Because it re it depends on a lot of factors. Um, if you have a small player base, have at it. If you have a um, if you're Zeusing for like thirty and above. Be modest. If you're Zeusing for 60 and above, be minimalistic. That's the best I can say. Uh, Stibby, if it's 10, go crazy. Uh, unless you're in an area like Chernaris Redux in Cherno or like it's a military underground bunker, then be modest because there's already a lot down to load in a single area. But otherwise, yeah. Activation is blue for present. All right, cool. Perfect. So that represents them going like up to the laptop after finding his dead body. Perfect. Uh, I will, of course, need to test that. 
All right, let me tab out real quick. I gotta go grab a bunch of scripts. So I need to scroll down to 506 Secret 3. How far fucking back is that gonna be? Okay, what do I need to copy? I need image 8. I need... I don't need the Dresler PA. Actually, yes, I do, because that's the intro file. Uh, I need screen time.sqf. And that is it, actually. Paste. Okay. Um... Oh, this has always been here? I mean... Okay, that's actually really good that I spotted that, because that's actually important to the script, and I completely forgot it existed. Uh, that is the point where the camera focuses to... on the created camera. So I just want it to be center of the room. Uh, slightly lower. That's not of the display room, that's actually- no, okay, okay, wait, 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 wait. Uh, banging on phase six will happen Wednesday night. Technically 9.30 p.m. Ooh, excuse me, 9.30 p.m. But... 506 has perpetually started later and later, so I would say 10.30 is when the action's gonna start. Cool. Yes, yeah, yes, by the way. Uh, Reich, if you got an idea for an Easter egg, let's hear it, but I usually like to just do fluffers. Do I have any recommendations? Recommendations for what? Well, I know Sparky's having another op soon, Barb, so. What do I feel like someone asked a question? I missed it. Yeah, say lovey. I forget things all the fucking time. The Boris Easter egg, fuck no. Star flares fire where the VTOLs are going in? Ah, uh, possibly. I don't want them to flare, it's kind of a... Uh... You know, a thing that's just happening, because these guys are trying to tie up the loose end. But really, it's the other guy tying up the loose end. It's ultra complex plot, inception, bullshit. Um, The big port, uh, proto drone that ate dirt. Mm. See, for this campaign, though, that wouldn't make sense because that was still like a viable element of it. It's just, ah. Ah. Well, so, gamer, what I like about the 506 is they usually pick up on my nuances. Compared to somewhere like TSV, uh, but it depends on who's playing in that TSV op, because um, it's hit or miss.
Do I have any recommendations for units? Um. Uh, what do you what do you feel like? Because I could recommend you a few, but I'm only gonna recommend them if they're like up your alley, you know. Do I have any op for shit that can kill me here? Yes, I do. Let me just get rid of that real quick. Okay. I'm blue four, so that execute VM is gonna work. So I, I come here, and then there he is. Perfect. So he'll be in an ambient animation. I'll build that on the mission of. Uh, and then when I go in the Zeus interface, it, uh, it'll it kill that camera. Yep. And then black screen. I'll also put a satchel charge right there. I'll start beeping it over the radio because I'm a little shit. Uh, that building will blow up. I'll delete all the evidence. I'll keep the body there, though. Uh, and then give them a call to escape as two VTOLs come in. Uh, and I'll just spawn them. That's all I really need to pre-build here. Just the script framework that I want to use. Send in hey, Noble. Hey. hey, finally glad to catch a stream. Hey, glad to have you here, man. Thanks for the 16 month resub. I hope you keep enjoying the operations, and I hope you get a kick out of this one. And stay safe from COVID. That's a definite plus. All right, so walk through, walk through the mission. Brief is just a picture. I tell them the LZ we're using. They should already be familiar with it because they already used that LZ once. Uh, come in, find the scientist. Uh, detain. Explore area. Find uh, Bloody Note. Bloody Note is just going to have uh, Dessa written in blood. They fight through. They get to Dessa. Find him dead. Uh, trigger here executes. I'll make the area just a little bit bigger because there's a little bit of lag time there. Uh, on this will be an invisible radio that I will have the uh, code to and... Um, I won't be able to see them though. It's, so it's just going to be a simple taunt and then go from there. I'll probably put my camera... Uh, well, I don't want to be too, too close to the AO, so I gotta be somewhere that I can overwatch that, but I, I can just play it along. Uh, charge will start beeping. It'll explode in about 10, 15 seconds. Uh, go back in the Zeus interface. We'll end that script, and then give the order for them to proceed back to LZ Muppet. Two by, uh, VTOLs come in, deploy shit tons of Vipers, try to wipe them, and uh, they escape, and then Endex. And this should only be like an hour long operation. But I said that about the last one and they fucking got like mostly wiped. Yeah, <laughs> right, oh noble. And then if that's the case, I really do hope you stay safe, man. But that's all I need. Again, um, I come on to their servers at nine o'clock. They're never ready these days by 10.30, and even if they were to be ready in 30 minutes, this is literally, uh, let's see, garrison work, that, um, the note, and then garrison that site, 20 minutes at most. Not even, 10 minutes. Definitely 10 minutes at most. And then I can just build patrols and garrisons from the debug corner I have established over yonder. Here. I'll make this a little cleaner. That's all I need. Do I like dark humor? Well, I mean, dark humor is like food, you know? Not everyone gets it. But, I mean, that's a really common, stupid one. Yes, I like dark humor. Here's what I'm going to do. Uh, we're going to run a quick ad. I'm going to switch over to another mission file. We're going to work on Deniland.
So let me get that set up. And I'll transition all the commands. And Alt F4. Oh yeah, right, I can. Can we not run the 60 second anymore? Right, because they want it, they're having this experimental bullshit instead. Yep, alright, I can do a 90 second. Alright, it's the shortest I can do. Fuck! Alright, uh, let's see. Why'd I just click team speak? I'm an idiot. Uh, what are we doing? We're still on late night mission development. I just need to update the mission command. Uh, be Working on... I know for a fact, though, Dental Land is going to take a good, like, minute to actually physically fucking boot. So that should be a good one. Yes, I alt f 4 it. That's why it crashed, you silly goober. Uh, Paw Patrol Mark Three. Where's that mod set? Why am I blind? Load all my additional mods here. All right, hit the play button. Uh, you can't do uh, two thirty seconds back to back. Uh, once you run an ad, it uh, goes through a ten minute timer, and you can't run a second ad. And thirty seconds was not enough time for me to set up all this because again, Dental Land is going to take like two or three minutes to boot. Was it Rook that sent me the two new things in Arsenal? No, wait. It's a different Rook. That's that might be 501st Rook. Wow, that's that's been a while. Yeah, <laughs> okay. No, I remember. Yeah, fuck. These people are fucking crazy. The fucking... I'm like, all right, you can get two items for what happened at the checkpoint RP. They fucking ask me for a defusal kit. And I'm like, okay, yeah, defusal, fits, uh, defusal kit's fair. And they're like, yeah, and a Barrette model at 98 Bravo from KA Weapons with API 526 rounds. And I'm like... You're a fucking PMC, and I know, like, three of you are going to kid up with that fucker. Like, oh, my God. Oh. Oh. <laughs> what does an orphan call a selfie? A family photo. Nice. So when do you typically do op streams? Ah. Uh... Fuck, okay. Sundays, uh, op 1, 12 to 2, op 2, um, usually like 2.15 or 2.30 to 4. Monday, uh, op 1, 4 p.m. These are all in the EST, by the way, Eastern Standard Time. Uh, 4 p.m. to 6, op 2, 6.15 to 7.30. At the latest, usually I try to end it by 7.20 because pot looks at 7.30 and I get yelled at if I don't end it within ten, uh, by 10 minutes. But they're the ones that wanted to come closer to my slot, so I'm like, well, fuck you. That's besides the point. Uh, Tuesdays... Uh, we have a stream, I believe, at 2.30 p.m. EST, where I'll be on the ground doing an SCP op with Natty's Goons. And, uh, 7... No, 6 to, like, 8 or 9 for the Mandalorian contracting. Uh, Wednesday is, uh, bi-weeklies. So not this week, but next week, and then we bi-weekly on that. Uh, 6.30 to 9 is currently a Stargate 1945 thing. And... Fuck, whatchamacallit. 
uh, the other half of the bi-weekly for this, so this Wednesday, is um, 506 Secret Squirrel, but that one is technically weekly, it's just bi-weekly I Zeus, and I also, you know, on the other week, it's Cherry that Zeus's. And he's he's a pretty good Zeus. I, I do love his work most of the time. Uh, Thursdays, 3.30 to 6, OFCRA PvP commentary. Uh, that one's on a five-minute delay, though. Uh, then you have 8 to 9.50, which is the Paw Patrol Ops, I Zeus 4. And then 10 to 12, which is late at night, is TMTM on the ground. Uh, as long as the op doesn't crash, if it crashes, I just leave because I can't be bothered to stay because I just go to bed. Uh, Friday, 3 p.m. to 6.30, and 8 p.m. to 11.30 p.m. Eastern Standard Time is the EU and NA branches of FNF, respectively. And then Saturdays are wildcard days where I'll either take it off or uh, I'll have something planned uh, anywhere in the afternoon. Could be 2 p.m. to 4 p.m., uh, 6 p.m. to 8 p.m., 5 p.m. to 7 p.m., or 8 p.m. to 10 p.m. And those are all the planned ones. This, for example, the one we're in right now is an unplanned dev stream that I felt like doing. Uh, and I try to do at least three of these a week. Oh, fuck. Barb wrote it all up. Yeah, I do. Um, I do always have. I put the schedule on Patreon for anyone that at least gives me a dollar so they know. But yadi da. Sorry, I went on a little rant there. I didn't mean to go on. I didn't even load the fucking mission file, but... I do have to build it based off of mission file 2, though. Fuck. Okay, hold up. How am I gonna build this? I gotta get template work from one... and the helicopters from the other. Yeah, okay. So we'll go to 2, then to 1. I still have BIA on my schedule? Oh, fuck. What, is it like on the Twitch page itself? Uh, I gotta get rid of that. BIA was a fucking trip. Alright? Like... I really don't want to sound mean, and I'm sure it's improved by now, but the missions were so... interesting. That's the word I'm gonna use. They were so interesting. And... On hindsight, in all honesty, the only- Oh, sweet, I have them here, so that's cool. I can delete those, and then I can move the respawn point and actually just copy and paste that. The only reason I stayed is because they paid me. That's- that's a- that's a definite. The only reason was because they paid me. I think 150 a month it was. And then b the only reason I left is because they wanted to start paying me only 50 bucks a month. Because uh, they were mad that uh, no one, I wasn't really growing the unit, quote unquote. Uh, because compared to all the other units here, I'm actually going to, I'm going to mute my music for a second because I want to explain this. This is really funny. Um, because usually when I go, um, Zeus for a unit, it grows over time. And we've seen that with Paw Patrol, for example. When I started with them, they were at like 10 to 12 person ops. They doubled in the past, uh, four or five months I've been working for them. Uh, 700 Cadian, uh, grew from like 30, 40, uh, a weekend to up to like 90 a weekend. It's declined a little bit, but I've also stopped working for them because, um, I, I don't like how they do stuff right now. Um with their vanilla aircraft assets, blending that into 40k it just kills my immersion to high hell and I yeah, yada da. Um TSB, I've kept alive, you know, but we're back at the golden age because we can get, you know, up to like, you know, high fifty ends on Mondays. Um you know, it's been since like twenty eighteen and we had one of those um like five weeks ago. We had nearly sixty people on a non public op server. Uh it's also why I chose to delete all my 501st content when I quit because I did not want to be responsible for the growth of that unit because that was a bad unit. Um, everywhere I've worked for, I've grown. But it's a two-end streak. It's not just a streamer. You also have to stream something good. 
and the fi- and BIA, <laughs> it wasn't really good. <laughs> oh, man. Uh, yeah, no, Barb, uh, there was an issue. They never n- did not pay me. It was an issue of they wanted to turn my pay from 150 a month to 50 a month, and I said uh, no. Uh, for like four ops a month is stretching it. Like I started taking one off here and there because there were just some op concepts I read through and I was just like, I, I can't for two hours. I literally can't. Uh, and they let me do that. But uh, so it was like, you know, 50 per op that would have gone to whatever, what what's 50 divided by three, um, like 18 bucks or something like 16 bucks. I'm not. <laughs> No, 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 no. You cannot pay me. That's not enough. (laughs) And yes, that's technically against the EULA, but those... I had some good times on some of the PvP aspects. They were really fun, Um, but I just... Nah. Nah. And don't get me wrong, um, if people, like, if anyone ever wanted a slow-paced Milsim group that had PvP elements in a mostly PvE scenario, I would actually recommend them to go play at BIA, uh, specifically their World War II ops, which, um, I've watched videos on, they're, like, miles ahead of their, um, modern ops. So, like, that's where they excel on, and that's where the primary focus of the unit was on. Uh, I'm going to put my music back on here. You know, I would still recommend them because every unit has their niche, and if you fall within that niche category, by all means, I, I implore you to try it. You can even make some money if you decide to, you know, go into being a full-time player there, which is also really cool. Uh, but not for, not for the realism stuff. Unless, again, you like the slow pace, uh, just fun, casual atmosphere of it. Which would actually be beneficial for, like, new players. Low stakes, just have fun, walk around, low intensity, just relax. Trying to think what else. delete everything over yonder oh man another marker right there and I gotta get rid of that position because I was debugged for the actors I will be doing another Paw Patrol uh, checkpoint RP. It's going to be like two months, but I'm going to literally double or triple the um, the actor count. Sad music. I mean, you have to have, in life, you have to have some of the good with the bad, you know, some of the sad with the happy, because it reminds you how good the happy feels, you know? So... Well, Lord, I mean, I, I guess that wouldn't be the metaphor I'd use, but, you know. I'm trying to I'm trying to step away from my um, the gig I've been running for a few months, which is, um, you know, paid Zeusing gigs because they just take so much time. Now it's kind of transferred into people can have me make mission files for them for a small fee. But um the, the reason I have to walk away from, like, paid Zeusing stuff is I literally don't have the time, <laughs> you know? Like, I, I just read off my stream schedule, for example, and uh, Project 17 here is going to be another, like, it's going to be a monthly project that, you know, will expand to 18, 19, 20, yada, da. Uh, but it's like one of my end tier goals has been Zeusing for bigger and bigger groups of players. So that's going to start tackling that, and it's going to be a multi-community thing to hopefully improve TSP's reputation, because I'm going to be honest, it's been a rocky road. So with all of that and the fact that, you know, in five months, I'm probably going to move in with Bloodwing somewhere, uh, I want to have time for her. I don't want to get caught up in my work, because that's what my father did, and that's why my freaking parents' marriage kind of fell apart. 
So I want to start opening up time because I also want to get into the Star Wars Squad mod. I want to have the time to play the Mass Effect remaster that comes out on the 14th. And I owe Iceberg some time to play the Sins of the Prophets mod for Sins of the Solar Empire. And I want to, you know, stream and record that. Because why not? Any recommendations for units that do World War II and Vietnam stuff, but also, like, modern stuff? Um, here's the thing about a lot of units out there. It's really hard to find a unit that delves a little bit in everything. That's one of TSB's major strengths, in my opinion, is we have multiple mod sets for, like, everything. Um, like, back in the day, we also had a dedicated Mass Effect uh, mod set and a dedicated Fallout mod set till um, stuff happened. Uh, but we still cycle into them here and there. But we've got, like, TSB, dedicated modern mod set, which goes from, like, Vietnam era and above. Like, Cold War, essentially, all the way up to 2035 if you wanted to. Uh, we have a dedicated Vietnam mod set, IFA mod set, and uh, dedicated... 40k mod set and halo mod set so we've got a really um we got a big range but there isn't really a lot of communities that do that usually what communities do out there is they pick one theme to play week to week and uh they'll do fun ops in other categories that's just how the method works. Is there an absolute casual unit? Uh, they do exist. I would recommend TMTM, but TMTM is very hard to get into. Uh, example, I'm a famous YouTuber, and it still took me three months to get into. <laughs> they're very, not elitist, but they're very picky on who they bring in. Even though they're not, like, they... They say they aren't, but I still hear stories of people waiting months to get in. Barb, hey, I'm gonna get a fucking award so I can officially say it. That's the thing that knocked me off of my fucking feet the other day. Bloodwing's like, hey, I can officially say I'm dating a famous person. I'm like, why? And he's like, because you're getting a fucking award. I'm like, oh, shit. I know, Barb. Applications take forever, but that's what I'm saying, is they just fucking take forever. <laughs> fucking three months, and I finally... Literally, I, the only reason I got in was because I was in a, a DM list, uh, a private Discord with Ulysses, who leads TMTM. And I'm like, hey, can you, like, take a look at this thing for me? Because it's taken, like, two months. And he's like, oh, yeah, sure. Uh, but that was when they were uh, trying to organize a multi-community event, which they ended up scrapping because of some, uh, like, internal drama. Or was it because of you? I also messaged Ulysses. It's okay, Barb. I'll let you take credit. Fuck, what was I doing? We need to add a fucking defusal kit in here. I thought you were my referral. But yeah, all in all, groups are weird. Let me, uh, I need to pull my phone back up. Okay, Barrett Model 98. Can I just type 98? Fucking Bravo Lapua 338. What the actual fuck? <laughs> Okay, um, 1526. API. 338 Lapua Mag. Alright, I feel like... Let me just make sure that shit's compatible. TMTM TM equals cute boys only. Yeah, as long as you're uh, 18 or older, otherwise you'll get kicked out like operator chat. <laughs> That's so horrible to say. So um, one, one little thing I'm going to tell everyone in chat here. Uh, if the community has an age limit and you're able to sneak in under the radar if you're below that age limit, do not tell people in there your actual fucking age. Because you will get kicked out. 
Especially if you, like, accidentally pissed someone off or you, like, infringed on someone's turf. Which sounds stupid, but has actually fucking happened in a few units I've been in. And I've also accidentally done it to a few people, apparently. Fucking KA weapons. What the fuck? I guess they're gonna put that on it, and then, what, fucking magazine is... Let me look up what its actual fucking magazine is supposed to be. There we go, I'm gonna hit close. Is that not in the... Didn't I just... Uh, uh, mm? It's doing this glitch again. Fuck's sake. Ten rounders, I put in a 15 rounder. It makes sense because I didn't also see the underscore KA, so... Whatever. I'm a dumbass. Now we verify. Is there a Beowulf in there somewhere? Yeah. I mean, it's that's a vanilla gun, but it does exist. It's okay, Barb. I know you're special. Have I heard of pot labor? No. Probably don't want to know. It's a mecha anime. Oh, for the love of God. <laughs> the mecha anime op will not come out for another two months. Oh, not months. Weeks. At minimum. I might delay it further if I need to. Okay? Give me some time with it, please. How disgusting is this thing? Yeah, that's pretty fucking disgusting. Couple of good movies. Bold of you to assume I have time to watch anything other than, like, one-hour break Law & Order reruns. <laughs> it's the Zoidberg scope. I'm just curious if it, like, did any notable damage now. Okay. What if I, uh... Now what? No. <laughs> okay, fam. Uh... What about now? All right, you know, we're gonna, I haven't actually opened KA weapons pack in like years. So just for the hell of it, what do we got in here? Like what can, what cursed bullshit can I be expected? First off, let's take off these damn shades. What, what cursed shenanigans can I be expecting in here? See, I like that. That I like. It's just, I know it also has these. And... What is the range? What is the range? Like 400 meters.
Okay. AN94s, that's fair. I know where Macro I've got some of these good 12.7 fucking bull pop bullshit. Vanelli. The fucking M4 Storms, get your Ghost Recon on. The Mini Colts, fucking Crossbows. DSR 5th, another 12.7. The Famases, get those out of cup. Shotguns, Fast 12, the fucking G11, I remember that. I remember when Kickass got removed from the workshop because he had a bunch of ripped assets that were taken out. M134. 16, Mossberg. PDR. The other Ghost Recon weapon, fucking... GLKs. I don't even want to fucking know what this is. Rifle. Oh, this is the rifle that Makarov fixed in fucking TSB assets. Well, at least I know where he got the models from. SKS. Not surprised. It's not a lot of ammo. You expect it to have a lot more, you know? Maybe that's just me. What the hell are you? Are you just a giant suppressed? I don't care how big your fucking suppressor is. There's no way in hell that it would... Ah, whatever. Cheeky, breaky, stealth boy -o. WA-2000. Oh. Oh, baby, this gun. Yeah, the fucking... Fucking 10 kill streak bullshit gun. The fucking... <laughs> is this... Is this the fucking... Yeah. The scope. Does KA have any handguns? Yeah. Oh, it's all coming back. Sorry, what the fuck is this? Fifty round times twenty round. Huh. Interesting. I don't know how to feel about that one. Combat axe. With the classic finger animation. Yep. Cool. I can arm civilians with stupid shit now. What? What sort of fucking James Bond... Are you only loaded with one bullet? Or is it scripted? I get 33 bullets. It's broken. That's why. What? You deploy it with the F key. I see how it is. Okay. Sure. Yeah, so that's this is the fucking la road. Uh, no, r land warrior bullshit gun. Yep. Yep. Soldiers would have had that. It's interesting to think about. <sighs> what else do I have? The katana, obviously. Combat knives, sawed-off shotgun. If I want to be a fucking pirate, a flashlight. I don't even want to know. What the hell are you? You're just like a spike gun? It's, it's just spike gun.
Pardon my ignorance on the guns. I'm just shaking my head, not wondering how to say some of these. And then he's got his own little type of AT here. All right. Well, ain't that fucking neat. Javelin. Alright. It's for underwater? That makes sense. <laughs> oh, man. You know what? You know what? I'm gonna take the rest of the night off. I have no idea what I'm gonna build for, uh, Paw Patrol yet. I'm just gonna eat it over some ice cream already made one mission file. I'm sorry. I blame Falcon. Love you too, Barb. And I am, uh, I'll be back tomorrow at 2.30 for, uh, some SCP stuff on the ground. Falcon, you literally asked, like, you, you asked for suicide in the meme op today and I gave it to you. All I, all I gotta do is, uh, drag your meter down. Easy. Anyway, see you guys tomorrow. Or later today, depending on your time zone.